What does that look like? I don't understand. I don't get it. What are they talking about? I can't see it. Hi, it's Eric Angelo. How are you? You good? Everything going well? You okay? Good. I want to share some more about this whole self-love. What does it look like? Like everyone's talking about it, but how do you actually apply that? How do you actually love yourself? That's a good question. We hear it all and it sounds so like up in the air in the sky, high in the sky kind of idea of love yourself. And it's like, how do you do that? Well, I'm going to tell you some simple ways that loving yourself, what it looks like, how you can apply that. One big, huge, ginormous. Are you listening? Stop. Stop what you're doing. One huge way that you can really love yourself is by setting boundaries. Wow. What does that mean? You know, we all have um, people in our lives who have ideas as to what we should do with our lives, be with our lives, say with our lives, yada, yada, yada. It goes on and on and on. Um, and so we really have to set boundaries and go, I have to do what's right by me. So setting boundaries for yourself, let's say, you know, someone is like demanding of your time. I really want you to do this and I want you to be here. Okay, well, you have to look and say, is that, is that what's working for my schedule? Is that something that I want to do? And what am I going to do about that? And so, you know, it's, I have people who send me all the time, you know, questions about their dating relationships. Do I answer every single one of them? No, I have boundaries. I have a coaching page. You can go to my coaching page. You can set up a time and we can talk. But I'm not going to let people just come into my life and, hey, because I need you, I expect you there. Absolutely not. I have things that I need to get accomplished in my life, just like you have things that you need to get accomplished in your life. So I do what works for me and what's best for me. And that may sound harsh. And if you're around people who are very bound, if they have no boundaries, this is what it looks like for them. I need you here at this time. This is where I need you to be. This is where I want you to go, yada, yada, yada. Oh, okay. Uh, I have this other thing that I needed to do and I really haven't even had time for myself because I've been working and I've been doing all these other things and okay yeah I'll, I'll fit you in I'll, I'll make it happen does that look like you does that look like something that you're doing in your life well stop quit doing it start setting boundaries and saying you know what that's really not gonna work for my schedule I'm really sorry I've got other things going on but I appreciate you inviting me to that that's it no explanations, not where you're going, not what you're going to do, but this is what I need to do. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So having boundaries. Having boundaries is also um, how you let people talk to you. You know, people who are boundaryless, you can just walk all over them. You can say whatever you want, and they'll typically just go, ha, 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 and they'll back off. Someone with boundaries will sit there and they'll say this. You know, I'm not, I'm not okay with how you're talking to me right now, and I don't feel comfortable with the tone that you're using me. I'm not speaking to you that way, and so unless you would like me to mirror you and speak to you the way you're speaking to me, I can go there. But really, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in getting that upset. So um, I would appreciate that you would talk to me correctly in the right way, in a loving way, and if you can't do that, then... We're not having this conversation right now, and we won't have it until you're able to speak to me through love and through um, through a little bit more of a calm in your voice because this isn't working. And that is huge. That's a big boundary. Uh, making sure that people are not just eating you alive and spitting you out and going, oh, th that person will take it. They'll deal with it. Those sort of things, that, that reiterates to yourself, hey, self, I love you. I love you enough that I'm not going to let people push you around. I'm not going to let people demand time of you. So, And when you feel uncomfortable about something, self, I'm going to give you a voice and I'm going to let you say what it is that you need to say. I'm not talking about being rude to people. I'm not talking about being ugly. You can do this through love. But it's really just speaking up for yourself and saying what it is to what it is, what it looks like to be uh, felt important and valued. So that's boundaries, and we could go on and on about boundaries. Another thing, something very practical that I do and that I've, been, I've learned from others as well is to really 
what do you want from your significant other? What are you hoping to get out of someone that you fall in love with? Is it to be hugged? Well, you have two arms. See, one, two. Hug yourself. Who cares what people say? I hug myself. I love to just like kind of stroke my arms. I'm like, hmm, I love you so much, Erica. And just kind of like rub my arms or if it's just kind of playing with my hair or even if it's just, if you need affirmation, then look in the mirror and be like, you know what I love about you? I love your cheekbones. You have great cheekbones. I really love that about you. I love your lips. You have really full lips. They're, I love them. I love, I love your voice. I love to hear you talk. You have such a pleasant voice. All right, you know what? You nailed that presentation date. I mean, you killed it. You were so brilliant. You were so strong. You were poised. You delivered it so eloquently. Like, you did an amazing job. What's wrong with saying that to yourself? What's wrong with touching yourself? What's wrong with putting boundaries up? There's nothing wrong with it. You just have to do it. You have to implement it. These are ways that we show ourselves up. Another thing is spa days. I'm a big believer in that. If you, I mean, all the things that you're wanting that person to do for you, do them for yourself. For me, like, I could live at the spa. I, I'm a spa junkie. I love them. So if I want to get my nails done, then guess what? I go and I use my little card, put it down, and I get my nails done. I'm not telling you to get in debt. Don't do that. Debit cards. Don't go getting in debt over this stuff. That's silly. Um, but yeah, do that. If I want a massage, then boom, I put it down. I, I get myself a massage. That's what I want. And that's what I do for myself. If I want to go and spend a day at the ocean, I have been known where I just, I'll go by myself. I'll sit out on the sand and just sit there by myself because that's what I like. Those are ways that I love myself. By doing the things that I love to do, that's what I go and that's what I do. And I don't wait for someone else to, to do that for me because why? I love myself enough. If that person wants to do those things for me, then great, that's a byproduct. But ultimately, I want to be able to give those things to myself. And then out of that, I'm able to love me on a better level, and I'm able to love those around me on a better level. So let's recap over this. What do we want to do? We want to implement boundaries. Boundaries is huge. That is a big, big, big deal. Implement boundaries. If you're wanting touch, touch yourself. Stroke your hair. Rub your feet. Do the things that you do to touch yourself, to love yourself. If words of affirmation are big, then affirm yourself. Tell yourself how much you love yourself. Why are you proud of yourself? What it is, what do you, what do you love about yourself? Look in the mirror, point out the things that you're crazy about and tell yourself that. Say those things and spend money on yourself. If you want to go to the spa, go to the spa. If you want a box of chocolates, then go get the box of chocolates. But invest into yourself. Really love yourself. This self-love thing is huge. It will not only help you for your own self, but it will also help you in your relationship and in attracting the right partner. If you want to attract someone, there's nothing more sexy than a person who really, really loves himself and loves himself well. Thank you for coming to Erica Angelo. And don't forget my website, ericaangelo.com. There's so much on there that you'll love and you'll just spend hours there. So Erica Angelo, where you find love, you fall in love, and you stay in love. Thank you so much for your time, and I look forward to spending more time with you. Thank you.